Welcome to a special episode of 13 Cube. Here's my dad to tell you more. Thanks, Charlotte. Let me know how you guys like my new co-host. As you can see from this episode's title, this is a Linux memory forensics challenge. Think of this as a free lab exercise. Now, before we get to the details, this episode is by no coincidence sponsored by the newest training course from 13 Cubed, which is called Investigating Linux Devices. This is a very comprehensive but beginner-friendly course that covers everything from log analysis to file systems, persistence mechanisms, live response, and of course, memory forensics. It includes extensive hands-on practice and a capstone project involving the analysis of a compromised system. So whether you're a beginner or a seasoned professional, this course is going to be perfect for mastering Linux forensics. Check it out today at training.13cubed.com. Okay, so here's how the challenge is going to work. In the description below, you're going to find a link to download a Linux memory image, and you'll find 10 questions about that image. The first three people to submit the answers to those questions and achieve a score of at least 80% will win an official 13 cubed challenge coin. You can see an example of what one looks like on screen now, and I think these turned out to be beautiful. Now in the description below, you'll be able to see whether or not the contest is still open as of the time you're watching this. It may have already closed, but don't panic because even if the contest has closed, this episode is going to remain up and will continue to hopefully be a great study resource for you well into the future. Now at some point, I'll either publish the correct answers, make a follow-up episode that walks through how to solve the challenge, or just sit back and see what the community comes up with. A few years ago, I released a mini memory CTF, and I know that at least one person made a very comprehensive walkthrough of how to solve that challenge and published it on their personal blog. So again, we'll just see what the community comes up with. Okay, so here's the scenario. Walter O'Reilly was hired by a company called 12 Squared Industries and his job was to develop a new website. On his first day, he was assigned an Ubuntu 22.04 developer's workstation. After completing the new employee orientation, he started work around 1920 UTC. Walter began by searching for articles on how to develop a website using AI, because of course he would. During his research, he decided to download some YouTube videos locally to his system. Through a combination of malicious ads and social engineering, unfortunately, he was tricked into downloading a binary and running it with super user privileges. So it's up to us to determine exactly what happened on this particular computer system. I wish you the best of luck, and hopefully you will enjoy this 13-cubed episode, and this will serve as a great study guide and study resource for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.